It seems. Indeed. Okay. Yes. That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh, yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Don't be like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? This is going nowhere. Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those, Those who, who plunder, plunder my tomb, why, why have you, you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it... Then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed it's her! It's your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come Don't near just me! Don't stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's, That's right. right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Our clothes. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? This... again? Child. You killed her! You're a plague! With that Murderer! Name? Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her! That's right. I killed Mom. I don't deserve to be alive. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right! Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! No! Someone help me!
The date that Medjid has set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber-terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout, then? We must take care not to be discovered by Boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up! It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be all right like this? Hmm? Yep.
Fascinating. Time to work. Let's do this. I see. Hey, this ain't opening. Think there's a way to open it somewhere else? Hmm. This door... It looks familiar. Oh, Futaba's room! That's it! Why ain't it opening? It must be her cognition that no one can enter it. I'm surprised that you made it this far. Beyond lies the Pharaoh's chamber. So the treasure's still here? Indeed. However, you need my permission to open this door. Then open it for us! I cannot. You must have her invite you in. What the F? Ain't this your palace? What's she mean, Mona? The shadow is Futaba, but not Futaba herself. In other words, we need the real Futaba's permission. So, we need to have Futaba-chan open her room and let us in? Considering that you made it all the way here, you may be able to do it. Looks like we'll have to return to reality once. But I remember Boss saying that she won't let anyone in. Right. She's a serious shut-in. How will we convince her to allow us entry? Standing around here won't help. We'll just have to give it a try. That's what she wants, after all. I think that we should do it too, even if it means we have to force ourselves in. 
Someone sure is stoked about this. Hmm. We have no choice but to sneak in again. Joker, it's your call when we do this. Make sure you think of some excuses just in case Boss catches us. We're counting on you, leader. On that note, is everyone clear on what needs doing? Oh, that reminds me. Give me the calling card, the one Alibaba sent us. What are you going to do with it? We're the Phantom Thieves, you know. We gotta announce this. If the treasure's there when we get the room open, given this tour will let us take it right away. Queen, help me think of what to write. I suppose. We got this covered. You decide on a good time we barge into a room. That's all you. Ah, you're back. We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Ten seconds. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba.
We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. Wait, these are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? The closet? She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this, this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Whoa, she talked! We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world? Huh? She understood it? Well, why do you know about that? Who are you? Uh... Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. Because I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Because I knew about it. Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. So, cognitive... science? Futaba... What was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Shouldn't we do this later? She seems to have gone through some shit in the past. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My, my mom was... The one who killed her was... It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. I, um... A lot happened, so... I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. I see. She went back in! What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. An app? 
Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Eh, I gotta agree. Just leave this to us. I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> No, I'm going to die. Good. Ah! Kitty, you again? 